Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm going to review another Chinese pen. So I'm just asking you before starting the video if you like our content, please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. So, request is done. Now let's see the pen. Today I'm going to talk about this Vingsung 3013. This pen is a recent pen by Vingsung and it is a vac filler. That's the most interesting feature of it. I have done a video about this pen before, about the filling up, so you can check that also. Now, let's take a look at uh, this pen. This is a pen that many people say the, this pen is very similar to the Twisby VAC 700. Uh, I'm not, uh, by the photos and videos it seems so, but I don't really know by sure because I, for sure because I don't have a twist wheel uh, of that model. So, uh, let's just take a look at the pen. So, the, the, the cap is almost cylindrical in an overall shape, although it tapers down a little bit at the end. It has uh, this shiny metal end with basically a flat clip although it has some uh, it has a middle ridge and then it has this surface and the, the surface of the cap is as you can see shaped with many facets it looks like the, a diamond cut there on the cap band you can see something that i think it means Vingsung and then 3013, the model of this pen. Then you have a transparent uh, barrel. This one is transparent but not clear transparent. It's uh, like a brownish, a, a cognac color, I would call it. And then you have here the, the knob, the end screw that you unscrew to pull the, this rod that will make and the piston that will make the, the vacuum inside. And then you have also a flat, uh, a fat band here be, uh, between the barrel and the end of the pen. So basically it's this. When it is capped, then you uncap the pen and it offers some resistance. And here it is why. It has a rubber O-ring there. I think it's just to make it tighter. I don't know if it is also for uh, sealing purposes of the nib, maybe it is. Then you have the section that is also clear, but the collar that holds the the nib and feed it looks like a metallic uh, uh, finish. It has these threads. The threads are not very smooth, not very sharp, also. But I find myself holding the pen like this, so I don't have a problem with that. Then. We have a nib that is pretty standard wing some nib. It reminds me the nib of this pen, which is also a Vingsung, the same nib. This one is an F nib, an extra fine nib. This is the Vingsung 3003, which is a cartridge converter fountain pen. And so you have this nib, that is a fine nib, and on the other side you can see the clear feed, which is nice because it gets in the color of the, the ink that you have inside. So many people like to see the ink going around inside and here it is. The pen is not completely full, but you can see it. I've shown in the, in the video that I made of the filling up, you can see how much ink the pen will take in a single full in a single fill so you have an idea so about the pen some things that i have to say first the materials of this pen don't look very fancy or very spectacular and they are not this is a very simple pen a very cheap one it is being you can find it now for around 4 euros so it's very very cheap it is the most most inexpensive vac filler uh, fountain pen you have around. 
by now. Um, so you don't feel it is very sturdy. It's just a regular pen that you can use it. Um, some things that I find quite strange. Uh, one thing I, I didn't mention, the, the barrel is perfectly um, round. It has no facets, although it flares out here just to accommodate that chamber to break the vacuum. I explained that in the video, that video before. And here in the like the piston knob, it has the same kind of facets that you find it on the on the cap. So coming back to what I, what I was telling you, when I unscrew these, at first this was not complete. This is not this part. This metal part is not glued in, and it is not um, screwed in place enough. So when I unscrew these, these eventually came out, and it started to unscrew there. So. I almost have a very bad ink accident. So when you receive this pen, please be sure that everything is tightened up, then you start using. It's uh, something that I would say. So uh, the materials don't look that fancy. I don't really like the way that the cap offers the resistance to open, but I think this may be a good thing because it won't uh, uncap accidentally and also it won't dry inside the cap, I believe. You have the ring that I don't like that much, and then you have these that, in the perspective of these of the design, I don't love, which is this flaring out of the the barrel to accommodate the ink chamber. I prefer when you have the straight barrel and the ink chamber is inside is larger there, with no difference outside. That's the way I prefer. So it's a good thing to see what happens inside the pen. Transparency is nice. It's well built, but you don't uh, feel this is a very spectacular pen. Also, the nib is very simple, very similar to this one that I showed you. So don't expect not nothing fancy, but for four euros, what can you expect more? Just to show you something more. You have the possibility of posting the pen. I don't find this possible to do. I don't know why in this pen, but it's it's just it just doesn't hold on place. Of course, when writing, you supposedly have to uh, unscrew this part to allow the the valve the the, the shut off valve to to. to let ink go to the to the nib and feed and this way it has a little more room to accommodate the cap but i can't find it to post that is something interesting because i've seen some videos online where the pen posts so maybe there are some quality control uh, differences between some of the pens that we can find online now let me just compare this pen with some other that I can find uh, for the size comparison. First, an obvious comparison that I have to do is with the other Ving Sung Vac Fill, which is the Ving Sung 699, the same kind of color of material, but this one is larger and heavier and nicer, I would say. This is a review also to be done in a few uh, days. Then I have here a Lamy Safari and a Parker Centennial Lufold. So it is a nice size, almost just maybe two, cent two millimeters more than a Parker Centennial Lufold. So you don't really need to post these and to write, but it's nice when you can post them. Here you see the nib comparison and the size of the pen. And let me focus. In this way, it is quite obvious that the Ving Sung should have a bigger nib for this pen size. And I'll go for the writing sample. But before, let me just tell you something that I found and it's quite interesting. This pen is the vac field. The, as I was telling you, they have this rod inside that goes there and it has a, a rubber plunger there that seals 
the access to the feed so it makes these tight watertight or ink tight it doesn't allow the ink to go there so when you write you would have to unscrew these and leave a space between the rod and the and the feed and then the ink would be able to flow down these can be useful because when you shut the valve down and you have to uh, take the pen somewhere to the to, to a plane or if you shake it too much the ink that will be lost inside the cap will be just that little amount of ink that is inside that second chamber but in this pen i found something even with the piston fully closed with that valve fully closed this is not really a valve because the pen keeps writing and i took some time to make this uh, I, I, i've observed that I, I started first to write with the pen with the piston open and then with valve open and then i started to test it the other way and uh, I took the time to let me see objectively and I started writing, transcribing a part of, of a book that I like in Portuguese. So sorry, you will not understand this unless you speak Portuguese and you can understand my awful and writing, but it doesn't matter. I just tried to, I just started to write and you can see that I was able to write a full page of this. So it, it is supposed that you can write a little maybe like this with the valve shut down but not a whole page of writing this is not supposed to happen but okay that way you know you don't have to write with this open at the same time i find this uh, a bad feature because it should close that's what we expect but at the same time i find it nicer because i don't like that much to write with a part of the pen opened that seems not it's the way these pens work but it doesn't look right to have this part not fully screwed in but it's just me i've talked for a long time now let's just do a short writing sample and you get the point of this pen and here i am with the pen and the paper and let's start writing so this is the Ving Sung 3013. The paper that I'm using is the usual Rhodia dot pad, and the ink inside is a vintage Parker Quink Red. It's getting a little dull and brownish, but I like it, so I'll use it. Uh, as long as I have stock of this, I will get, keep using the pen. So, this pen, how will it write? It will write like this pen that I reviewed before, the 3003. It's the same nib, the same feed, so the writing experience is the same. So, what I have to say is the nib is smooth, it writes well, so don't expect a bad pen just because it is not expensive. It really writes well and you can even get some shading which is nice with this ink. So uh, about the line variation, yes, you can have some line variation if you don't even if you don't press too much and if you press a little much you will have some line variation. It's not a flex nib, forget about it, but you can have a nice feel and you have to know, and if you know how to deal with this and do the right thing, you'll have a beautiful handwriting with this pen. I can't because I don't have those artistic skills. So the, the ink flow of this pen is, I would say, quite good, even with Parker that is usual, usually quite a dry pen and this is a fine nib and you can see the amount of smear that I got out of this pen. So it writes quite well. When you try to write in reverse, it doesn't write at all. It's not scratchy, but I can't even get the, the ink down on paper. So the flow is good. There's no skipping. 
there's no problem at all with this pen. I have to say that this is really good and when I bought it I thought okay it's a nice feeling system but the pen won't be that great. What I found is that in respect of the writing experience I like this one more than the 3003 just because of the weight of the pen. This pen is a little heavier and I just like it more. I prefer the feeling system of this one, this cartridge converter, but this one feels a little better in the hand. But if you don't like steps between section or parallel and section, this, is, this pen is not for you. This is quite sharp. But I hold the pen there, so, or a little bit up here, not there, so no problem to me. This is a very good pen, it doesn't skip. Have, I have some uh, aesthetic critics and also that the functionality of the shut-off valve, but besides that, this pen writes and that's what they are supposed to do. So, I have to ask you for subscribing our channel, it is important for us to reach the thousand subscribers and also uh, I have to thank you. This is the most important thing of all. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for keeping coming to my channel. And I hope you'll do it more. So, see you next time for the next review. Bye.